What's up, y'all? Toasted Ted here once again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Deserted Zombie Survival. Um, I tried loading my original map. Or, not original map, but you know what I mean. The map I was just doing. And, of course, it had wiped itself. So, I made a new map called Wiped Again. <laughs> which, uh... Kind of on the nose, I guess, but, you know, whatever. But that's the whole point and why I left all my best stuff on me. In case that did happen, which I I had a very, 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 very strong feeling that it would. And it did. So, for the rest of uh, 4.5 until... Um, until the fifth season starts you know, with uh, with uh, update five. I am going to come up here, the top of this little hill. Wow, I am lagging bad again. Like, really bad. Like, this is as bad as it lags when, it, when it's about to crash and, and wipe my game, but there's nothing to wipe right now. I literally just started this game. But, see, this is a good place in terms of height, but... Um, like you're not close enough to the zombies really to like get their attention. So I go down here. Oh wow. I didn't even notice today. Come on, go to inventory. Bloop. Bloop. That's what I have to eat down here. <laughs> Burger and fries, of course. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to make my home, or my, my, I'm gonna, just going to make like a little, you know, four little panels type home right here, just so I uh, have a place, or until season five starts anyway, because once season five starts, I'm going to use that, um, just build spike barricades on all the buildings to where I can just jump into any random building I feel like and it'll have a spike barricade blocking the doorway and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, let's go here. Coincidentally, I still had a few planks on me from the uh, other game. So I could build these four. And what else? Got the front door there. That's pretty much all I can build, right? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so, obviously, I'll have to do some more gathering of some wood, which I might, I might just use that glitch, you know, the duplication thing, my Bob, just to get a decent amount of wood quick, so I don't have to bother worrying about if it wipes because season five will be out soon and starting soon anyway so it won't really matter no i don't really like how the no it's not flat you know what i mean i want it to be flat why can't it is this flat enough up here All right, good enough for me. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna make this one little cabin, like it. Uh, you know what I mean? Oh crap! I forgot the pillars. Well, that sucks. All right. I literally only need nine pillars for this thing. So it's only one tree chopped down for the pillars at least. Which I might do this kind of thing for season five also. Like I might build like a tiny little house. This one here is just going to be one level. Like I'm not even going to worry about 
all that, you know, making doorways and hallways and all that stuff like I did in my first house, which is a fun house to have just because you can explore it. It would be more fun if, like, once you spawn in the game, there's like a 50-50 shot that a zombie happened to find his way in if, if you didn't shut your door or something like that. I think that'd be a cool thing to do. Then then walking in your own home might actually be, you know, detrimental. <laughs> it's like, oh, safe haven, yay. And then you get there and there's, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, one or two zombies. Or you walk in and there's an end type just chilling. But I think they'd be too tall. Especially if you made it the way I'm going to make this one. <laughs> Guess I didn't need nine. I was gonna leave the op the inside open like that. Well, no. Hold on. I do need ten or nine just to uh, build the roof eventually. But after the roof is gone, I can take out that metal pillar and the roof will stay there and it'll just be big open area. Okay, front door. Clink. I might actually make. I mean. Tiny little house like this might actually be feasible simply because it's not so much, you know, for the thing to handle. But I don't, I honestly don't get why building a house is too much for the game to handle anyway. I mean, it's programmed as part of the game. It's not like I'm using a mod to add in a house that shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, if you use a glitch to get thousands and thousands and thousands of wood to build a house that's the size of that city, then yeah, that's obviously not supposed to be there and it'll glitch it out. But it's like the house I built, you know, like nine squares or 12 or whatever it was, I think it was nine by two levels. Like that's not that much. I've, I've built a house like that before and it wasn't that big a deal. Anyway, um, i chop down some more trees. All I really want to do is make one box just so I could drop off some things if I want to. Oh, I missed that fourth thing. Crap. Yeah, I wish the wood didn't fall so far. Like, it doesn't make any sense for you chop down a tree and then the wood you get from the tree is 100 yards away. <laughs> It's kind of funny when you when you chop down a tree and you literally look around it's literally to scale at least a hundred yards away from your person <laughs> it's like what <laughs> all right it's like the flash come by and just whip it away from me or something and choop, leave it over there is like a joke or what's going on here no but that, i mean that would make lumbering or lumberjacking if you will more uh easily doable at night at least because during the day it's not a big deal that they spread out but during in the night when they spread out and you don't have a flashlight or a light source in some kind it will most definitely like that right there boom one two three that's three of the four at least like that's what needs to happen every time for sure that would be awesome honestly yeah i think i might end up pretty happy with this house just a little, you know what I mean? Hopefully, maybe that's maybe that's the problem. Is like, you you can you can build your house right, like it, it's programmed into the game, the floors, the you know the this and that, but like layers to it isn't like 
structurally feasible for the game to handle or something. I don't know. I mean, it's a possibility. Like maybe it's something you overlooked when you when they were making it or whatever. But I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting if um, you could make a house like the one I had, but make it like. 20 levels tall if you wanted to and you'd like never have to like once this game is complete like out of beta and like full release style then you can when you can do that and like it won't have you know as many glitches or if any hopefully but um if it does then like whatever and i have no idea why i put this so far away over here <laughs> okay one box what else do I need? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more walls. So I'll do three windows and five walls. Yeah. Or three windows and, you know what I mean? Three windows and four walls. Wait, nope. Hold on. Haha. <laughs> this, this trick is worth it, in my opinion. Let me just go into here and craft, you know, you can craft 20 with five instead of 16. Or 15. Okay. Now. I need four of these. One, two, three, four. Three of these. One, two, three. Um, shutters for the windows. One, two, three. Roof. Yep. One, two, three. Three, a ladder. Ha ha. Wait, is that not enough room for the ladder? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, um, I built all this. This video is getting to about my limit. So, uh, the next one that I do, episode this is episode nine, by the way, but episode ten will be uh, the completion of my new tiny little house, and it probably will be complete, complete in that same episode. So. Stay tuned for that. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like, comment down below, and uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, I just decided to go ahead and play. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Toasted Ted, and I'm out.